Now in today's video I'm bringing you an update which is a bit, uh, shall I say late? I'm not even sure if late is the right word to say. Um, many of you who have been following our channel, subscribed for a little while, would have remembered that I was attempting to um, propagate and repot our giant monastera or cheese plant whatever you want to call it this huge plant which we've had for a number of years now this plant has been with us since the time when we moved from London here uh, to the West Midlands and it really does mean a lot to us and so we decided to take the risk of propagating which we hope would mean that if one of our cheese plants would die then we'll have another one as a backup as we really really do love the way these plants look now I must say contrary to what I've seen on YouTube and all the videos of um, you know content creators who grow um, and propagate plants um, mine didn't go according to plan in the fact we almost lost all of the cuttings that we made but miraculously where we had one plant before there is potential for us to have now three plants guys now we absolutely love plants around the house there's no secret there living um, sort of close to nature is something that Sophia and I as well as the girls really enjoy and so dotted around our house you will find plants all around um, from hanging from the ceiling to on our dressers on plant stands you name it we love to have plants all around the house plants have an amazing ability to purify the air um, around you as well as beautify your home it just really really lifts your mood so today i will be showing you what's currently going on with our cheese plants guys because yeah it's been a bit of a crazy roller coaster of a ride now i must say that if you haven't seen the videos um previously i'll try and put them in the link down below and above for you to check them out it will kind of give you an idea of where we're coming from on this journey um, the fact that these plants haven't died is nothing short of a miracle especially now that winter's kicked in um, it's been around a year now since we've been trying to propagate them getting them to root getting them to um, grow new leaves and it's been a slow slow process uh, but um, we're not giving up and we're making progress but strangely from the most unusual of places and I'll show you what I mean in a moment now I have been promising to do a houseplant tour for a very 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 long time and I still haven't gotten around to do it so for now um, you guys will see some sneak peek of some of the stuff that we're growing here but for the most part this isn't really a houseplant tour so to speak we're just focusing on our monastera so I'm going to start here in the rather echoey office which is our smallest bedroom because I'm going to be showing you the first of the three uh, cheese plants that we're trying to propagate and this one is perhaps the one that is lagging behind the most but the good news is just about a week ago we saw a new shoot guys and this is a positive sign so here we have it guys cheese plant number three which sits right here on the office desk um, a Sophia is typically in here working away and this was the original leaf um, which we um, you know tried to propagate we tried the method of doing it in water uh, and also in soil and it's safe to say that this has definitely taken root there's actually roots that are coming out of the bottom as well so that's a good sign um, and for the longest time nothing was happening guys it was just this leaf sticking out of the soil and that was it until about a month ago I noticed that there was a little glimmer of hope where something was sprouting at first I thought it was some weeds and I almost pulled it out but I left it and lo and behold we've got the first little leaf this little baby leaf from our cheese plant our monastery here that has come up so this is a really really good sign now what seemed to typically happen with these first shoots is that they typically dry up and die off very quickly um, I'll show you on my second plant because that's exactly what happened so I'm not sure if that's going to happen on this one however this little guy is so cute look how tiny that is and um, it's just a taste of hopefully things to come unfortunately we're going into winter now so probably we'll all slow down again our monastera plant has life which is a great thing so I've just been keeping it watered and you know trying to keep the house as warm as possible and hopefully this little guy will continue to kick on 
If you guys have got any tips on what to do, if you've had monasteras before and they've actually grown shoots like this, let me know in the comments down below, what am I supposed to do next? Obviously, I'll probably wait a little bit longer before I put any stakes in there because I'm not sure what angle they're actually gonna sort of grow in. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's our first plant. Okay, let's move across the corridor uh, to our bedroom, the master bedroom. And this probably looks familiar. Again, for those of you who have been with us for a little while, this was our plant stand which we made from scratch. I saw this plant stand on a Wayfair website. I was so close to buying it, but then I thought to myself, why not make my own? We had some scrap wood left over in the shed and literally took me a couple of days. I was able to knock this together. Okay, so yeah, we decided to just use it in our bedroom, guys, because yeah, it just looks really, really nice. We had it in the living room for a while, but yeah, we, we thought we'll move it upstairs. And we basically put quite a few of our plants on there, but like I mentioned, we're gonna be focusing on these guys, which are our monastery. This is the other one that we propagated. And this one has definitely um, been doing a lot better. Um, I mentioned before about the first baby leaves that came out, which this one came out quite a few months ago now. And I was really, really excited because you could see where it burst out um, at that joint there and things were looking really positive but then it started to die and wither and I thought what's going on is it the temperature the change of temperature is it too much water in I was just you know bemused and at a loss but suffice to say look at this guys um, they've traded places we've gotten this little one is literally dying back I don't want to pull it to damage it and look what's coming through we've got a new brand new leaf coming and this one's a lot bigger and you know we're just so excited and you can see where it's coming out of that joint there from the previous two older leaves which somehow is still alive I mean I don't know how these things stay alive so long it's been nearly a year since we've propagated it and it's still going because of how heavy the leaves are I have stuck a bit of bamboo cane in there and with these really, really handy um, clips, they literally just um, squeeze on over the, the stem. I've used it to hold it in place to keep it upright because like I said, these things are quite massive. And yeah, this is doing really, really well. Let me take it off and show you, give you a better shot of it. Um, this giant Monastera and it's doing really well so far. So we're very impressed. But this is what I meant about the angle. You're not really sure how exactly it's gonna be growing. It literally just does its own thing. The shoot's going that way now. So yeah, I might well have to move this stake um, when it comes to repotting it. But I'm really, really excited, um, both Sophia and I, to have this guy just taken off, which is great news. So this was plant number two, guys, like I mentioned. What do you think? Um, this is looking really, really positive. It's definitely looking like um, a monastera plant now. You can see that joint's looking healthy and hopefully it will start to kick on. Not sure what I'm gonna do with these older leaves once this one gets established. Um, but yeah, I'm just super, super chuffed and that it's all coming together now. So I do recommend going back and watching some of the older videos that we've done on this Monastera plant guys because it'll kind of give you an idea of the journey that we've been on. And I mentioned that we had two plants that we propagated that started rooting but there was a third or shall I say there is a third and it's one which was a bit of an experiment. Now after I chopped the original plants off the mother plant um, I basically left the roots and the stem in the ground, in the soil, in the pot, whatever you want to call it, got there in the end. And when I left it, I just wanted to see whether or not, you know, you never know, something might grow from it, I thought. And I just left it, not paying it much mind, just kept it watered and it stayed dormant for absolutely ages. And out of nowhere, we saw these little bulges, these little eyes started to sprout and i'm pleased to say yes we've actually got a third plant now because the original mother plant who has just been absolutely awesome has refused to give up life 
and is doing remarkably well guys i'm so so happy with this plant it looks really healthy and the best thing is there's not just one but there's actually two shoots on there which <laughs> i've been trying my hardest to repropagate and to get multiple plants and you know this one's just gone on and done its thing i'll show you what i mean Okay, so here you have it guys, the original OG mother plant, or is it father plant, I don't know. All I know, this is the original baby, um, which, I mean, look how lovely these leaves are, looking so healthy. And I didn't actually realize that monastera plants, cheese plants, they don't actually um, start off with those little notches, which they're world famous for in the leaves. Um, that actually comes um, you know later on as they mature so yeah this is what's happening at the moment we've got not just one plant if I show you the base so this was the original stem guys which we had um, before and you can see if I spin this around gently you can see where we made that original chop um, rest in peace <laughs> for in order to propagate um, these plants and it was literally just this stem that was sticking up out the soil we just kept on watering it and left it as it was and lo and behold you can see there hopefully where we had um, these little notches that sprouted a new plant and also at the top here which we weren't expecting another one so we basically got two plants here now guys now i've already said to sophia that at some point i'll probably want to chop this down the middle and end up having two separate plants um, of course that would mean trying to uproot whatever um, roots are growing in the ground i mean these roots are pretty massive guys look at the size of them so yeah but that's probably something for the summer when it's a bit warmer to increase the you know the likelihood that they will survive and the plan is to basically have one stake here chop this one off take it away and repot it and hopefully we can get another plant out of it because these babies are looking so good and um, yeah it's just absolutely amazing guys we've got our monastera plants multiplying which is fantastic I mean look at it it's growing even better than the the ones that we've propagated guys um, but I'm sure the others will catch up at some point but they're just looking absolutely terrific and yeah, that's our cheese plant journey so far. Um, I thought I'd just give you guys an update rather than just leaving you um, hanging for too long. Let me know what you guys think about it. And again, if you guys have any tips, whether you know it's what we can use to feed these plants, or you know the best temperature to keep them at, whatever you know that could be helpful, do let us know. Um, we really really would appreciate it. So yep, we're still enjoying our new um, bedroom which we renovated recently guys We gave this place a nice makeover and it's still our favorite place to be at the moment Especially as the weather is so cold. I mean, it's currently three degrees outside at 4 p.m. in the afternoon so you know It's nice to be in a nice warm toasty house. We've just done some insulation in the loft which was <laughs> yeah that was a job and a half um, we've done a little makeover in our bedrooms even the girls have had a makeover in their room and so all of this has been done just in time for the winter i hope that you guys have been enjoying the videos and if you've got cheese plants guys do let us know how you care for yours as i think they're just some of the most incredible house plants to have and we're hoping that we'll keep these guys going for a lot longer drop a comment down below guys if you'd like for me to do like a little house plant tour uh, which would probably mean that i'll have to learn some of the name for some of these plants um, drop it in the comments down below uh, or give us a thumbs up um, like this video share it with somebody if you think they will find it useful but for now that's our cheese plant our monastera um, journey so far do check out the other videos if you haven't seen them until the next time guys this is kenroy saying i'll see you when you see me take care guys and god bless keep warm